Hello my family members. Today in this video I am going to give you a problem that was asked in a previous TCS exam but if you are preparing for Accenture or any other company then also it's suggestion for you to solve the code right. So let's see what's the question. Actually the question is regarding prime hour. Here on earth, our 24 hour day is composed of two parts, each of 12 hours, right? Each hour in each part has a corresponding hour in the other part separated by 12 hours. The hour essentially measures the duration since the start of the day part. For example, one hour in the first part of the day is equivalent to 13, which is one hour into the second part of the day. Now consider the equivalent hours that are both prime numbers. We have three such instances for a 24-hour two-part day that is uh, at 5 o'clock and uh, on, on seven, 17 o'clock and 7 o'clock and 19 o'clock these are similar right and 11 o'clock and 23 o'clock this is instances for 24-hour two-part day right and except two natural numbers d and p greater than 1 corresponding respectively to number of hours per day and number of parts in a day separated by a space right d should be divisible by p meaning that the number of hours per should be a natural number that is d by p calculate the number of instances of equivalent prime hours output if output zero if there is no such instance note that we require each equivalent hour in each part in a day to be a prime number here is the example that is 24 hour and two part days so the output will be three here we have actually three instances such that the both corresponding to each are prime right at five o'clock and 17 o'clock seven seven o'clock and 19 o'clock are actually equivalent in a in a same day and separated to a two part right so 11 is uh, also prime 23 is also prime right so there are the output is 3 right so the next input actually input format is single line consists of two space separated integers d and p corresponding to number of hours per day and number of parts in a day respectively right so output format is output must be a single number corresponding to the number of instances of equivalent prime number as described above so here is another example that is 36 3 right 36 is the total number of hours and 3 is the part of separated right separated part that is uh, here the uh, total number of part in a day right so uh, output will be to how the explanation is this in the given test case d is equal to 36 p is equal to 3 duration of each day part is equal to 12 right and here is the explanation i am not reading and extending the time you read by pausing the video right so here is the example 2 again the 49 and 7 is the input and output is 0 because there is no such um, such prime hours that's why this is 0 right so pause the video and try to solve the problem by yourself because uh, this will enhance your problem solving ability right so please solve try to solve the problem if you face any problem or you, you if you want me to solve the problem then also ask me in the comment right and please suggest me on which topic i should make videos so that you will be helpful right so solve this problem and give me the code in the comment box so thank you for today's session